to this happy place. Welcome. Hey guys, it's Tim, and welcome to episode 105 of the Dreaming of Disney podcast. I'm with my beautiful wife, Adrienne. Hey, I missed the theme song. You missed the theme song? Like I, you know, just now I heard it and I'm like, oh, <laughs> like I've missed it. Oh, you missed it. Not like, like you missed it. Like, no, like what happened? No, like I've I missed have, it. Like, oh, like. I miss listening to that. Right. I miss hearing it. Got it. On a regular basis. Yeah. I mean, will we ever get back to a weekly, maybe Uh, if we had more things to talk about? I I really think that we should just make it. We haven't made this decision, but I feel like we should just make the decision to do uh, bi-weekly. Yeah. And then not feel bad about when we miss, because then it's like we didn't miss. And well, if we do have like more things, then it can just be like a bonus episode. That's true. Well, you heard it here first, folks. We are now announcing that we are now bi weekly. I think so. The only thing about that is it might be hard to keep track, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, did we do it last week? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, so, yeah, we're back. Uh, and lots of exciting announcements <laughs> that dropped uh, earlier this week. I'm very excited. Um, Mainly the announcement of the 70th anniversary of Disneyland, the events uh, that will take place, the things that are coming back, Mm -hmm. Uh, new things uh, that are that are going to be happening or starting. Um, One of those things. Well, actually, this is not one of those things. This is something that I just saw today on Instagram that I teased you about earlier. Oh, okay. Yes. You said, you said, don't, you said, don't look at your It's it's nothing, it's nothing exciting. What? But, um, why did you say that to me? The virtual queue for Tiana's is going away and regular standby line starts on December 10th. That's this Tuesday. For Disneyland. For Disneyland. Disneyland only. And that was your phone. No, it was your phone. I just texted you. No, that's my phone. Oh. Oh, hey, you probably heard it through my computer. That's why you're here. Yeah. Um, um, I'm texting you <laughs> love notes. Love notes. Um, no, it's little secrets <gasps> that we can't talk about because we just recently found out that one of our kids is listening to our podcast. Yeah. So we if, were... you, if you, if you <laughs> listened to our last episode, I was a little nervous about something that Tim told Bethany and I was like, mm, should you do that? He's like, ah, oh, it's fine. Then yesterday we went for a drive up to get out of the nasty pollution. That is where we live. And we're in the car for a while and you ran in to get some food somewhere. And mm-hmm. one of our boys says to me, I got bored on the drive down. So I decided to listen to one of our podcasts and I was like, what? <laughs> which one? And I was like, which one? What, 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 which one did you listen to? What, what? And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, well, like, what, what, what were we talking about? I don't know. And I was like, well, like, was it, um, and I like, cause I was like, this, typical preteen. Uh, and I knew, I knew you shouldn't have said anything. I almost want you to delete that podcast episode. Um, well, I can, be I could, Bethany. I can, no, I can, oh, edit, can it. edit it. I can edit it Go and update it. Go take it out. Ooh, I, think I, I, think I, I think I will do that. Because, yeah. And so I was like, what? And he was like, uh, and I was like, was it the one about um, Tiana's? And he was like, no, it was your solo trip. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, well, don't listen to the Tiana one because there's spoiler alerts about the ride. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Just straight I, up lying I to our kids. I don't, that's not a lie. That's true. That's there true. are spoiler alerts to the ride. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. But anyways, so at, when we're done with this, I will go edit that podcast and Thank update you. it. So, uh, but, uh, so yeah, virtual queue is going away. 
standby line is is so official. Will it be individual? I, okay, you guys, I I can't keep the name straight. Okay, it and is I'm, I'm sorry if that annoys some of you. Um, <laughs> She's referring to a review that we got, who uh, said it was awkward that we didn't know the line, the names of the uh, multi pass. Was it really awkward for you? <laughs> but oh, was uh, it was it that that they were talking about? Yeah, that we didn't know the name of the multi pass. Well, it's just because we kept going back. It's like fast pass, genie plus. You know, we were kind of going back and forth. But oh, it's, okay. they, it's not one, our fault that they've changed one, the name five times times in the last two years right like do you know it one you can shake those things off it bugs me yeah and why it bugs me is because i don't understand (laughs) i understand leaving a negative review Mm -hmm. on a product yeah because like bad service yes or like you know like we bought a an ice maker like an out you know what are they called just like the it's ice maker okay just yeah. a little ice maker. And it was horrible. Like it was impossible to clean and got moldy. And it was like, you had to break it to clean it. Okay. So that one, you left a negative review. Cause you're yeah. like, okay, this is like faulty mm-hmm. and you don't want other people wasting their money. Cause it was yeah. like, this is gross. And okay. That I understand. You don't like our podcast. Just don't listen. <laughs> like, I don't care if you don't like our podcast. I don't care if you listen. That's totally fine. I have listened to podcasts myself where I don't even make it through the whole thing. I'm like, you know what? I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like their Mm -hmm. tone, you know, just, it's just hard for me to listen to. I don't go and then (laughs) take time out of my day to say they were horrible to listen to. I was totally bored or whatever. I just don't listen to it. Tell me how you really feel. (laughs) But, uh, but anyways, no, I want to say something. Okay. Go, go ahead. Are you done? No. Okay. I mean, I am about that, but my original point was, mm-hmm. um, I can't keep it straight because it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Again, tell me how you feel. Well, I'm just, it was oh, okay. See, this is why I don't like, cause I don't look at the reviews. Yeah. So I don't like when you send me or have like post a negative one because it ticks me off as we've only gotten one. That's the only one that we've gotten where somebody gave us two stars. No, there was one, two stars. Yeah. Two, two stars. stars. Two Are you five. serious? Just don't listen. Just turn <laughs> it off and go about your life. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so, okay. Lightning lane. Okay. Seriously, you guys fast pass. Yeah. Then Max fast pass. Then lightning. Ma- max pass. Max pass. Okay. They're, Maxi okay. pass. Maxi. What did I call it a couple of <laughs> times? Pass. Maybe they were offended by my, you know, using terms of feminine products. Um, uh, okay. Lightning. Uh, then fast pass. Then Genie max Plus. Pass. Genie Plus. Genie Plus. There is a lightning lane. There is a standby lane. Then... There is individual lightning lane. Mm-hmm. Genie Plus. On individual Genie Plus. Plus. Yeah. So you can just buy Genie Plus, but then there's the individual lightning lanes that you have to purchase. And every yeah. park is different. And Genie Plus was the name of the service. Lightning Lane was the line. Yes, Lightning Lane is the line. Yeah. Standby is the regular line. Fast pass, you get a fast pass, you go in the fast pass lane. So why can't I keep it straight? It's because now. Not, oh, I'm sorry, not now. A few months ago, there was Genie Plus, then there was, which had the lightning lane and the standby lane, and then there was the individual lightning lane. And again, individual lightning lanes that you had to purchase separately were different rides in different parks, and they would change them. Then they would have virtual queues. Mm -hmm. Like, this is stupid complicated. I want to hear you explain. Okay. And then I shouldn't even said anything. I know you shouldn't have, you should (laughs) never have posted that. We got that because you knew it was going to tick me off. Then they change it again to max pass. No. Oh gosh. It's not max pass. It's multi pass lightning, lightning lane, multi pass lightning lane, individual pass. Multi pass is regular lightning lane where you can pick the different rides. Individual pass is the 
individual lightning lane. Okay. But I love that they had Genie Plus going on just long enough for all of us to get the hang of it. Oh, yeah. And then they're like, hey, let's switch it up. Yeah. And then there's this virtual queue, and then some of them have virtual queue and individual. Some might have indivi- virtual queue and then on the multi-pass. multipass. Tiana's was virtual queue and multipass. And multipass, but some, I believe, are yeah. virtual queue and individual. Cosmic pass. Rewind in Disney World is so virtual like, queue and individual lightning lane. No, it's not awkward to talk about at all. <laughs> Anyway, so, so Tiana's. Tiana's now is standby line, regular line, and multi-pass lightning lane. So it's on multi-pass, so you don't have to purchase it separately nope. if you get... Lightning lane. Lightning lane. There's no more Genie Plus. No more Genie Plus. Why do There they is even... the Genie service. Oh, shut your mouth. Genie, the, the free Genie service, which is you tell, you tell the app what you want to do and it'll plan your day for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We forgot about Premier Pass. Oh, and there's Lightning Lane Premier Pass where you pay $400 and you get to do all the rides just once, but okay. no planning. So for Disneyland, Tiana's is now multi pass. Yes, it okay. always has been. But all, the virtual queue is gone. The virtual queue is gone. So you know what have to about get a Disney queue. World? Do you know? You still have to, it's still virtual queue and. Multi-pass. Interesting, because it's yeah. been open longer in Disney World. Yeah. I wonder if they just didn't feel the need it's for it probably, here. It's Because it's winter and nobody wants to I think it. that's part of it, is that it gets cold here in California, where it doesn't get as cold in, in Florida. Florida. Yeah. So there's, people are more willing to get wet yeah. in Florida than in yeah. California. <sighs> So I'm tired now. that that was a long roundabout way to say. <laughs> well, we haven't recorded in so long, but I, I haven't had an outlet. It's been pinting up all the pressure. <laughs> no, I really haven't thought Ready about it. Ready to explode. I haven't thought about it since that day. But when I saw the story that you posted about it, it bugged me for a while. But I, I haven't thought about it since I that day. I came home and you're like, why did you post that? No, you were already home. I walked into wherever you were and I was like, why did you just post that? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Like then no one's going to want to listen to our podcast. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it is what it is. I mean, I've, I work in an industry to where people critique your stuff all the time. And I guess I've just, I've learned to be callous to that. And um, just kinda... I have four kids. They critique me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Just yesterday. One of our kids got mad at me because I didn't bring them the snack that previously they had gotten mad at me for bringing them. So, you know. <laughs> so anyways, um, we are here to talk about the, the 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 70th anniversary of Disneyland. Uh, yes. Earlier this week, Disney posted on the Disney Parks blog everything to expect. So we're kind of run through kind of the, the highlights of of what's to come. I'm sure there's going to be more that they're going to announce. Um, you know, there's always like food and merchandise and other yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. That they, that they talk about. But um, so uh, the first thing is that it's going to run the 70th anniversary celebration. It's going to run May 16th, 2025 through the summer of 2026. So I'm thinking probably. May? Okay. Wait. Yeah. Cause usually it's for like 18 months, right? Yeah. So yeah. what did you say? May. So 2025. Yeah. And it's probably going to run through the end of August of 26. We're usually. Right. Cause then it'll be holiday. Yeah. End of August is usually when they start the Halloween time and going into right. the holidays and all that. Um, so that's a little, that's on 18 months, a little over a year. Um, In addition to announcing the 70th anniversary, they also released the full year calendar of events for 2025. Mm-hmm. So this is the second year that they've done that. Usually it's like a few months before they would announce mm-hmm. like, oh, now it's going to be, you know, you know, seasons of the force for Star Wars going to run for the next couple of months. But last year they did like here's the entire year and they did the same thing this year here's the mm-hmm. entire year for 2025 all the special events and after dark 
you know, events. Are they doing seasons of the force or like a hyperspace? They are. Hmm. Yeah. So we'll get into that here a little bit, but we'll, we'll get into the calendar in a little bit, but yeah. So May 16th, 2025 through summer of 2026, um, is the 70th anniversary celebration. So the big, the, the first thing that they announced is a new world of color show Mm. in California Adventure World of Color Happiness debuts at Disney California Adventure Park. World of Color Happiness. Okay. So um, the all new World of Color show is inspired while, by Walt Disney's words from the opening day park dedication mm. from seven decades ago. Ooh. So all who come to this happy place, welcome. So it's going to be hosted by Joy and other emotions from the oh, uh, okay. Inside Out and Inside Out 2. Uh, and along the way, the emotions manifest music and moments from favorite Walt Disney Animation Studios and Pixar Animation Studios stories, including Turning Red, a goofy movie, oh. Tangled, <gasps> The Lion King, and so many more. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Because, I mean, I've talked about it before. Germany, maybe you will recall how many times I've mentioned that World of Color for the 60th was so good. It was good. so good. Yep. It was so, so good. So I'm, mm-hmm, I'm excited. Yeah. Um, yeah. Goofy movie. I'm, I'm glad because Goofy movie was always kind of like the, the sleeper. Yeah. No, it no, wasn't. It wasn't like, very popular when I mean, it came out. Me and but, my best friend loved it. I love the Goofy movie. We could sing the entire opening song. Yeah. And, and we would, and we recorded ourselves. And it's <laughs> only been, it's only been recent, probably like the last year or so that couple, really, I'd say a couple of couple years, years yeah. that Goofy movie has gotten a lot more popular, mm-hmm. a lot more us elder millennials. Are we have, elder or are we just mid? I think we're like mid millennial. I think we're elder because we? we, we're- Mid eighties mm, okay. babies, um, but uh, so yeah, so I'm excited to see that because I love a goofy movie. Yeah. Um, so World of Color Happiness, new World of Color show, debuting uh, during the seventieth, and this one we are so excited about. Paint the night, oh, yes. it's coming back to Disneyland. So good, so good. The, this fan favorite dazzling nighttime parade will make its grand return to Disneyland for the 70th anniversary celebration. So what that also means is Magic Happens is going away. Mm. The Magic Happens mm-hmm. parade. And it's being replaced by a cavalcade. Mm. Just a simple... Mm-hmm. Uh, that like runs a few times a day or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah with des- different characters. Um, Paint Tonight, Bests... Nighttime parade, hands oh, down. Oh man, oh man, it's so good. I love it. I can't wait. Um, this one I wasn't expecting. Um, Wondrous Journeys, the nighttime spectacular. Interesting. They're not doing a seventieth fireworks show. Yeah, because they've always done like a you know the fiftieth, the sixtieth, oh, both so good. And then for the one hundredth, Di- Walt Disney Company. Yeah. Anniversary, they did wondrous, wondrous journeys. journeys, and yeah. so huh. I think they're probably they're probably thinking, you know, it's not broken; they'll fix it. You know, everybody loves wondrous yeah, it was journeys, and, and uh, it is really good. It is yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, not my all time favorite, nope. but it is good. Uh, so that's coming back. Um, so if okay. a lot of people already know that, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that one. Um, Better Together, a Pixar Pal Celebration Parade at Disney California Adventure Park. So this is... Oh, they had that for the Pixar Fest this was, For the Pixar over the Fest. Summer. Yeah, so that's coming back at uh, California Adventure. Nice. I didn't really get to see it. Yeah, we only saw it really in passing. Yeah. Um, so that's another, you know, event, uh, adventure um, parade event coming to uh, California Adventure. Uh, it says uh, Wondrous Journeys and Better Together uh, Parade will temporarily pause to make way for seasonal Halloween and holidays entertainment 
offerings. Oh, they so reserve. like the next so this year? Is, so 2025, end of August through probably January. They probably won't be doing it as much. Right. Um, so there's that. Yeah. Um, they also uh, release concept art of, you know, the castle. It uh, looks so pretty. Yeah. So a lot of pinks and blues. Um, Mickey and Minnie in their uh, 70th anniversary uh, outfits. Mm -hmm. um, Disneyland Park will debut a new character cavalcade called Mickey and Friends Celebrate Happy. Uh, as it winds its way along the parade route, favorite characters will encourage you to dance and clap along in an energetic and temporary con contemporary celebration of seven decades of happiness. Um, also, this is this is new. Um, in the evenings at California Adventure, the exterior of Carthay Circle Restaurant will invite everyone to celebrate happy during a special moment filled with music, lights, and projection effects. Oh, fun. And at Disneyland, the facade of Is a Small World will also get a new projection show. Oh, I bet that's like the, you know how they did the Bruno one? The Encanto one, yeah. yeah. Um, so. Oh, cool. Plus, created in the honor of the anniversary, an upbeat new theme song, Celebrate Happy, will be heard throughout various entertainment mm -hmm. offerings. So that will be the next one we're always singing. Got mm -hmm, it. Got mm -hmm. it. So those are like the 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 entertainment and show offerings for the 70th. Um, and then, uh, like I said earlier, uh, they released the the 2025 calendar uh, for the whole year, um, so it's all pretty much what we come to expect. Um, Lunar New Year uh, at California Adventure um, is running January 17th through February 16th. Uh, celebrate Gospel uh, for Black History Month in February. February is 8th. that new or did they have they've done that a few times? Okay. I don't think they did it last year. Okay. Uh, but that's February 8th through the 15th. And then everyone's favorite, the California Adventure Food and Wine Festival. Oh, yeah. February 28th through April 21st. So that's about two months long. My personal favorite, Star Wars Season of the Force. Mm -hmm. March 28th through May 11th. Uh, uh Hmm. What? I just wonder if they'll have, because usually they had um, <sighs> hyperspace was usually the whole month of May. Uh, yeah, hyperspace is going to be during Seasons of the Force. Uh, they didn't say how long it's going to run. Um, last year, that, uh, it, uh, uh, what's the word? Overlapped with Pixar Fest. Yes. Yeah. So those those kind of overlap. They're not doing it overlapping this year mm. um, because right after that is the Disneyland 70th starts on May 16th. Mm. And then you got Halloween time starting August 22nd. Oh, uh, and then you got the holidays starting November 14th. Um, and then the festival of the holidays at uh, California Adventure uh, running November 14th through January 7th. Uh, and then you got your special uh, after dark uh, events, um, parties, uh, Sweethearts Night, 90s Night, Star Wars Night, Pride Night. And then you got your Oogie Boogie Bash, all, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, so those are, those are separate ticketed events. So you got to pay for those um, additionally. So, so now... Now, if you, cause like, okay, people who have annual pass have to pay for that ticket. What if you're just buying a ticket? Do you have to like buy a just, park ticket and the ticket? No. Fee? So you buy the, the event ticket and you get to go in, I think it's around three. Like, okay. So you don't get to go the whole day. Okay. But you can't, like, if you don't have an annual pass, you can just buy a ticket for the event and just go to the event. Mm -hmm. You don't have to buy yeah. like a day. If you have an annual pass, you got to pay the ticket too. Like the annual pass doesn't get you into that. Right. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. But you don't like you have if you have an annual pass, you have to buy a ticket for the event. Yes. But if you don't have an annual pass, it's not like you have to buy a day ticket oh, and the no, event no, no, no. ticket. Yeah. 
Yeah, just the event ticket. Yeah. So, um, so in this separate article, you know, it has a lot of the same stuff, Paint the Night, all the, the shows and everything, uh, Winter's Journeys. Um, there was something else that I saw. What was it? Oh, so Walt Disney and Magical Life. Oh, my gosh. Will debut at the Main Street Opera House Theater at Disneyland Park on May 16th, 2025. Oh, my gosh. That is going to be packed that day. So this is like, the the animatronic. The, an, the audio animatronic that they announced at D23 that will rotate with uh great moments with Mr. Lincoln. Um but it's gonna be there for the whole 70th I'm assuming. I think it's it's there for for good. Well why'd you say rotate? Well because it's in the same place as Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. So they're they're building a special stage to where it can flip around. Oh they're not getting rid of they're not of... getting rid of it. Gotcha. Yeah okay. they're they're keeping both. Okay. But they're gonna rotate on certain I said certain days or, or throughout the day, um, okay. different show times. Um, the attraction will feature a cinematic presentation of Walt Disney's journey, culminating in a visit with Walt in his office, brought to life for the first time ever through the magic of audio animatronic storytelling. Oh, man. So there's a lot of controversy around that one because oh, yeah. uh, this is the first time that they're using AI to recreate Walt's voice mm -hmm. um, and so Disney said that they had blessing from his family to do this mm -hmm. but then there's other family members who are like no don't do this mm -hmm. but uh, there was a petition to stop them from doing so obviously really? they, didn't, they didn't stop them from doing it because they're still doing it mm, interesting um, and then in, also in 2025, uh, the expansion of Avengers Campus will begin. Oh. Um, because of that, oh. Red Car Trolley, the trolley that runs yeah. through California Adventure, mm -hmm. will no longer be available. Uh, that's, uh, that's it okay. doesn't bother. There's <laughs> a lot of people. No, I don't want to say a lot of people. Just people on social media uh, were upset about that because it's – because they're taking it away, but they have to they have to take out the track where they're expanding mm. Avengers Campus, and so it's not going to be running through California Adventure anymore. Oh, like at all? At all? Like, oh, I thought you meant close it temporarily. No, it's it's done. Oh, they're not doing it anymore. But what they are doing is they're leaving one at the entrance of California Adventure, just a trolley, like stationary, yeah. so people can get in there and like take pictures and stuff. Oh. But you won't be able to ride it anymore. Oh, that's kind of sad. So that start that ends February eighth. If you want to ride the the trolley for one last time, um, seasons of the force. So this is I'm there's a lot. If you go on the Disney Parks blog, they go into a lot more detail about certain things. I'm you know here's one that I'm really excited about: the Anaheim Ducks Day on January twenty fourth totally kidding oh i was like where are you going with this so like it's the you know the hockey team okay like the movie like like mighty ducks the mighty ducks because the anaheim ducks are like a real hockey time okay hockey, hockey team so i was just totally kidding okay um but uh season of the force mm -hmm. uh so they have the the fireworks show that yeah. they do over there yeah so they are adding projections and a new light show that goes along with it. Because I haven't seen it from there, but you have. And it was just, they added music. They right? just added, it was just because it, it's, uh, it's the same fireworks as what's happening on the Disneyland or mm -hmm. I guess it's on the Magic Keaton, not Magic Keaton, <laughs> the, the castle side. Mm -hmm. Same fireworks, but they use different music in Galaxy's Edge, Star Wars music, mm -hmm. to time it with that. So depending on the show, the main fireworks show, the music that you may hear is going to be different because mm -hmm. the timing doesn't work. Um, but what they're adding is uh, projections, like on the Millennium Falcon, on the That's on cool. the 
mountains and stuff to kind of add to it. Uh, Cause before it was just fireworks. Right. And I know you said it was, it wasn't as good as you were hoping. No, it was kind of like I did it once. I don't really need to do it again. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but now they're, they're, it looks like they're trying to, you know, improve upon it, mm-hmm. which is cool. Uh, hyperspace mountains coming back, so which is all, which is always a good one. Um, and that's kind of like the, the, the gist of it. Um, I'm really excited for a world of color. Yeah. That's I hope it doesn't cool. let me down like the last one. The like. The world of color one. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was, it was a letdown mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for me. Um, still, I mean, I would, if anyone has, if you haven't seen a world of color show, I would always recommend doing it because it's, it's cool. Like it's cool no matter what, but it just wasn't after having been gone for so long. Mm-hmm. Um, not us world of color because yeah. <laughs> it took them a while after it, you know, reopened after, uh, the pandemic to bring back world of color. And, uh, I was just kind of like, Oh, cause the last one I had seen was the 60th one and it was just so good. So, um, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. And also paint the night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That all those should be, I'll be really good. There was something that I saw that I was going to say something about. Oh, I was just looking on my phone a couple days ago, looking past that, uh, Oh, I w- it was, uh, there was a, 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 one of those story templates on Instagram where they like, you know, mm. for 20, it's almost 2025, post yes. a picture when you're 25. Um, and so I was like, okay, I had to do some math. I'm like, no, it wasn't when you're 25. It was in 2005, wasn't it? No, no, it was. The for, one you posted of us and Jack? Yeah, that was in 2011 and we were 25. I don't, hang on. We hang just on. told everybody our age. <gasps> I'm 35. Okay, wait, hang on. Yeah, it was, it's almost 2025. Show, post a picture when you're 25. Hang on. You don't believe me? I just, because I did that one on my like personal page and show us you at 25. Yeah. Okay, I must have seen a different one. There, there was a couple of different ones. There was. Because I posted, I did one on my personal one and it was like. It was a, what was it? Maybe it was 2005 or something like that. I'm going to have to look back. Maybe I did it wrong. Um, (laughs) But little baby Jack. So that was in 2011. Uh, Wait a second. We were technically. I wasn't 25 here. I was 24. We were turning 25 that year. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Wait, hang on. We went, this was in. It was in June. Right, because it was after our niece and nephew got out of school because they were with us. So we weren't technically 25. I wasn't. I I were turning 25 very soon. I would have been 25 the next month. I was 24 here. So, but it was on our Disney account. And so I needed to post a picture of when around that time we were going to Disney. Yeah, we were 25. So, um, look at baby Jeff. So that was his first visit. Oh, look how happy he is. Oh my gosh. He was an angsty teenager. (laughs) <laughs> he was, um, he was nine months old. Yeah. But going back, we were talking about world of color and I had, I have video on my phone of that world of color show. That was the, it was the first one. That's the first time we ever saw it. Mm. Right. No, it wasn't the first time I had ever seen world of color, but it may have been the first we, time you had seen. No, no, no we, we saw, watched, we saw world of color when we went after we, we were first married. married. Yeah. This so, was the first trip after that trip though. We yeah. didn't go for a couple, a couple of years. years, but the, I was, I recorded the uh, pirates of the Caribbean parts. Mm. I was like, Oh, that's so good with the fire and everything. And yeah, it was, didn't Jack, I, was it that time or the time when Noah was a baby where uh, my sister-in-law held them while they, was it Noah or Jack that slept the whole time and she was holding him during the whole show? During Wolf Color? Yeah. I think it was Noah. It Noah, was the next time yeah, they came with us yeah, and Noah yeah. was <laughs> asleep and she held him the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
But uh, now I have to look back at my stories because I'm it's gonna bug me. <laughs> did I do it wrong? <laughs> or maybe I didn't do it. I don't know. Who cares? Nobody cares. I don't care. So that's what uh, <laughs> that's what you have to look forward to for the next you know upcoming. Okay, I found it. Oh, mine was different. Mine was it's almost twenty twenty five. Show you in twenty fifteen. Yeah, so it was and that's slightly I, different. I did that one, the one of us uh, with Jack and Noah. Mm-hmm. That was the year. That was the frozen. Um, that was a, that was a good year. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! That was a good trip. The winter of twenty fifteen in Disneyland. Mm-hmm. This was the first time we ever went in February, and it was dead. Oh yeah, because this ten years ago there Before were still times where it was not picked up on it too busy, mm-hmm. and they had the frozen celebration, and they had the snow play area with fake snow, and it wasn't fake snow. It was well, I mean, it was it wasn't actually snowy. I mean, it, but it was like actual. It was ice. Uh, yeah, it wasn't like they made cotton snow. balls. It was yeah. like yeah, like snow. You know. Um, you could sled mm-hmm. and snowball fights. Oh my gosh. It was so good. Yeah. And that's when they had the frozen sing along, which is mm. now a permanent thing in Hollywood studios and Disney, Disney world. world. Um, it was just so, it was such a fun trip. It was, it was so cute. I yeah. think Jack did Jedi challenges. Yeah. That was the first time he did Jedi challenges. He was technically, he was too young. Because he was, yeah, we went in February. Mm -hmm. So he was four. He would have been five that summer. Yeah, we were so nervous. So nervous that he wouldn't like. He wouldn't listen to the Listen or pay attention. And he didn't really, but they. (laughs) But they went along with it. They guided him around. He fought Darth Vader. (laughs) Oh my God, he's so cute. Oh, Jedi Challenges, man. I missed that. That Not Jedi Challenges. Jedi Training. Jedi Training. Jedi Challenges is the video game thing. Um. Oh yeah. Jedi Jedi training. Training. Um yeah. Oh, Noah's so stinking cute. Man. Kids were so cute back then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now they're annoying and smelly. Tim, we've already established at the beginning of this episode that they listen sometimes. I know. I know. We love you guys. We love you very much. Don't listen to your father. <laughs> Um, so oh, I was just going to ask you something. Mm. Maybe, maybe it wasn't asking, I was going to, or making a statement. Um, so yeah, I, I foresee us going multiple <laughs> times this year. <laughs> oh. I mean, we always go multiple times. Yeah. I, yeah. Maybe not as much as other years. That's what we always say. Um, I don't think I'll make it for, um. Hyperspace. Yeah. I want to take the boys to a Star Wars night. I know. Do just a quick trip. We'll do the Star Wars night and do all that. And, uh, which I guess I'd be okay. Have a boys, boys trip. Here's the thing it's like the boys way outnumber the girls. So it's like, well, what about us? But what I said was, okay, mm-hmm. you do that. In a couple of years, we will have a mommy daughter trip to Disney World. Where we will do Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique and eat at Cinderella's table. No, mm, what? Uh, uh, Cinderella's Royal Table. Cinderella's Royal Table. <clears throat> the princess character dining. Mm-hmm. And it'll be amazing. I just have to wait a few years. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for listening. You know, I uh, hope this helps you in your planning for the <laughs> 70th. Hope this gets you excited for the 70th events. Why did you laugh at me? Uh, <laughs> Arms tired from holding my mic. <laughs> um, because I don't know. I don't know. You're making fun of me over here. No, I just. Would you like to complain <laughs> about that one review again? I was just going to say, <laughs> I hope this wasn't. Annoying to listen to. <laughs> no, and, it wasn't no, annoying. It was awkward. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that, and that's, that, that's another thing. It was awkward. Like, okay. Um, I hope this wasn't too awkward. And if it was, I sincerely hope that you turned it off and went about your life. 
That's what I hope. We may have lost some viewers, listeners. What? No, no, I think we're fine. Well, if we did, that's okay. Because yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, but uh, you can follow us on Instagram. Um, you know, we got some fun things planned coming up. Uh, See, now I'm just not going to be able to sleep. I'm going to be worried. Worried about I'm what? Be worried all night. That, that Noah's going to be listening to our podcast in the middle of the night? No, that that now, oh, because of my rant, people are going to think I'm a mean person. No, you're not a mean person. I don't think I'm a mean person. You're not a mean person. But at the same time, you're a wonderful person. I can be. But <laughs> Who can, you know, everybody has those <laughs> those streaks. No, I just, I, I, it's just, I don't, I don't, it wasn't constructive. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like, oh, like maybe try doing this, which I mean, not that it's like we're doing this because it's our hobby. Like, it's not like we're trying to be professional or anything here. Like, so even constructive criticism would be kind of funny, but like still it was, it was just like, we don't like your podcast. Well, okay. <laughs> like, well, they didn't even say that. Well, they didn't say that, but I mean that, that, that was the gist. Yeah. And it's, it's just weird to me when people will do that. And again, not like leaving helpful feedback like a negative review of a product or like, Oh, don't stay at this hotel. There's like rats. It's just like, <laughs> you were awkward to listen to horrible. Okay. Sorry. Like, I mean, I guess it's constructive criticism. We'll try not well, to they be didn't so say awkward. Horrib- they didn't say horrible. Oh, okay. Whatever. But I don't know. It's like, I, I, it would just never occur to me to leave a negative review on a podcast. Yeah. It would, it would only rec- like if I liked a podcast, I'd leave a review. Mm-hmm. If I don't like it, I just won't listen. Yeah. Like, it's not like we're like, we're a family podcast and we're like cussing all over the place. And so someone is like, hey, watch out. They actually aren't a family podcast mm-hmm. to let other people know. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It- <laughs> This is why uh, you shouldn't funny. tell me these things because <laughs> it, I, I doubt they listen anymore. Well, I hope not. Like, so. don't waste your time if you don't like us. Like, <laughs> now, if you do, if you do, we I, got plenty of people that like us. If you like the podcast, that's awesome, and I I hope you do enjoy listening to it. <laughs> If you don't, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk away. Just walk away. Just turn it off. Walk away. If you find me annoying, that's okay. Just, I don't need to know about it. You can send your hate mail to <gasps> her address is. Why would you? 787. Like, why would I? What? Why would I get hate 2389. Mail? That's a long address. West Main Street. We live in Disneyland. USA. Anyways, I need some ice cream and I need to let this go. I need to shake this off <laughs> shake because you off. brought it up shake again. It up. Or did I bring I, it up? You brought it up. <laughs> you brought it up. I didn't okay. bring it up. Okay, that's true. It's just you brought up the the lightning lane. The name. The name. That are uh, the passes that changed and it made me think of it. Because you're right. I don't know the names. You know what? I don't care. Not because experts. They're going to change them again. So I'm not going to waste my life learning all these terms. <laughs> I'm just going to use it <laughs> and have fun using it. Yeah. It's like, actually, I'm not going to have fun using it. It's going to come down to like, stupid expensive. <laughs> we're so going to use it. Um, well, I said I'm not going to have fun lane. using it. <laughs> I'll <laughs> use it, but I'm going to be ticked off. About it. Say, let's get a lightning lane for whatever. That's kind of the go to. Um, so even when it was Genie Plus, I was like, let's get a lightning lane for this. Um, but anyways, Just if you like this, if, if you like listening to this, thanks. <laughs> appreciate it. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram at dreamy.of.disney.podcast. And uh, we post sometimes. <laughs> so... Um, so and again, this is your reminder that we are now a bi-weekly podcast. If you didn't pick that up, if you made it this far, if we're not too awkward enough, um, you made it this far and uh, we're bi-weekly now. 
Um, and uh, thanks for sticking along. And, uh, you know, hope to talk to, with you again. <laughs> okay, that I understand their review now. We are awkward. <laughs> I take everything back. You're right. <laughs> thanks for listening Bye. to Dreaming of Dizzy Podcasts. We'll talk to you later. Bye.